Hello everyone. The conversation today is about an article that was recently published in the International Journal of Medicine and is open access. It's a cross-sectional study that compiled data from 175 countries and established a correlation between meat intake, and it's all kinds of meat, not only red meat, with child mortality and longevity. Because it's a correlation with study, we have to be careful when interpreting the results. I will focus on one graph that depicts the correlation of meat ingestion with both child mortality, and these are children under five years of age, and life expectancy in the population. So on the left y-axis, we have child mortality per 1,000. And on the right y-axis, we have life expectancy in years. On the x-axis, the horizontal axis, we have meat intake in kilograms per year, and it's varying from 0 to 160. The graph depicts on the left y-axis an inverse correlation between meat ingestion and child mortality, which is represented by the dashed line displaying an exponential reduction in child mortality as total meat intake increases. In fact, a drastic reduction in child mortality, approximately 90%, is observed with the ingestion of as little as 40 to 60 kilograms of meat per year. This corresponds to an, an intake of approximately 110 to 165 grams of meat per day, provided, obviously, that uh, people would eat meat on a daily basis. If this is not the case, then we have to recalculate to uh, match what they eat, for instance, on a weekly basis to see how that relates to this amount of 110 or 165 grams of meat. Moreover, child mortality approaches zero for those consuming 150 kilograms of meat per year. So this shows the importance of ingesting animal protein for child health. Now let's look at the y-axis on the right side and let's analyze uh, the results that refers to life expectancy, which is depicted by the dotted and solid lines on the graph. Now we see a positive linear correlation. In other words, life, expect life expectancy increases as meat ingestion in the population also increases. It's worth noting that meat ingestion explains at least 50% of the variability in both child mortality and life expectancy. Once again, it's important to highlight that correlation does not mean causation. However, the data suggests that meat is a very important food for the health of the population. This study also supports the results of randomized control trials, which are the gold standard in the strongest type of scientific evidence that exempt meat from being harmful to health. This study also contradicts other correlational or observational studies that inconsistently attribute detrimental health effects to meat. Lastly, if we consider from a, the evolutionary point of view, meat has arguably been an indispensable component in human diet for millions of years which is evidenced genetically by meat digestion enzymes in digestive tract anatomy. This study also found that carbohydrate crops correlate with life expectancy weakly and actually negatively. So thus, it's worth reading the whole document because we can draw several relevant dietary information from this study. 
So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next. Bye for now.